guys. This is your lesson for Wednesday the 25th. We're going to be in the book in lesson 10, which is converting metric units of length. So we're working with things like centimeters, millimeters, meters, and kilometers today. I'm going to be on page 857. If you open to page 857, you'll see this conversion chart that tells you how many millimeters are in a centimeter, centimeters in a meter, and so on. The ones you're responsible for knowing are millimeters to centimeters, centimeters to meters, and meters in kilometers. We'll talk about a couple tricks for this and a couple ways to think about it after we look at some conversions. So I'm going to jump right into some conversions here. And I'm going to start with 5 meters is how many centimeters. Okay. We can use our conversion calculator for metric just like we did for customary. All right, meters are bigger than centimeters, so I know I'm starting here with five meters. How many centimeters are in a meter? We can use our conversion chart. We know there's a thousand, sorry, I'm doing centimeters, back up, a hundred centimeters in a meter. So our basic unit is 100. This tells me I do 5 times 100, which is going to be 500. So that tells me there are 500 centimeters in 5 meters. Okay? I'm going to keep track, actually not over here, I'm going to keep track down here of what we've been doing. All right, moving on. Right now I'm looking on page 858 at those guided practice questions. We're going to look at 9,000 meters equals how many kilometers. All right, so using our conversion calculator, Meters are smaller than kilometers, so I'm starting here with 9,000 meters, and I'm wondering how many kilometers there are. There are 1,000 meters and 1 kilometer, so our basic unit is 1,000, which means I'm doing 9,000 divided by 1,000, which would give me 9. Okay. Look at another one. Let's think about 200 centimeters is how many meters? Okay. Centimeters are smaller than meters, so I know I'm starting here with 200 centimeters and I'm looking for how many meters that is. There are 100 centimeters in a meter, so my basic unit is 100, which means I'm doing 200 divided by 100, which would give me 2. All right. So as you're starting to look at these, I wonder if you're seeing any patterns. Now you can't tell me if you are or not, but think about it and see, do I see any patterns? Am I notice anything about my answers here and how this is happening or about the conversion charts here? Okay. Something you might be noticing here is 5, 500, 9,009, 202. You might be noticing that we have some similar numbers here. That's because the metric system is set up in a base 10 system where 10 makes 1, 100 makes 1, 1,000 makes 1, okay? So it actually makes it a lot easier for us to work with than our customary units. You can completely still use the conversion calculator that we've been working on and it will work great for you. You're welcome to use that. But if you're starting to pick up on these tens patterns, you can think about some things we've already learned. Really quickly, I'm going to show you, kids help 
dad under dad's car, mom. Okay. What that stands for is actually if in the metric system, you take your basic unit for length, that's a meter. And then we have something that is called decimeters, centimeters, which we were working with, millimeters, which we were working with. Those are all smaller. Coming this way, getting bigger, we have decameters, hecometers, and kilometers or kilometers, okay, which you have seen. So the ones we worked with today were kilometers, meters, centimeters, and millimeters. Those are the ones that you're going to be responsible for. But for the sake of showing you how this works, I want you to know the other ones exist. So how this actually works is with our basic unit meters being one meter. If I go this way, they're getting bigger. Meters, there's 10 meters in a decameter. There's 100 meters in a hecameter. And there's 1,000 meters in a kilometer. Going this way, it's very much the same. But a decimeter is a tenth of it. A centimeter is a hundredth of it. A millimeter is a thousandth of it. Meaning there's 10 decimeters in a meter, there's 100 centimeters in a meter, and there's 1,000 millimeters in a meter. Okay? This is why I'm showing you this. Five meters. Okay? We said it was 500 centimeters. Well, let's think about that. Five. If there was a decimal point in this number, where would it be? It would be right here, right? Where the zeros are. So if I move this point over to centimeters, it would go one, two times, and I'd add my zeros, and it would be 500. <sighs> right? Let's look at another one. Let's go the other way. If I had 9,000 meters, okay, the decimal point would be here, and I'm going to how many kilometers? So I have to go over one, two, three times, right? One, two, three. Decimal point goes there. 9.0 is 9. Whoa, I'm imagining you guys right now. You're playing in my head. <laughs> okay, let's look at this last one, see if it holds up. 200 centimeters, and we're going to meters. So I'm starting at centimeters to get to meters. I'd go 1, 2. So if my decimal point was here, 1, 2. If I put it here, it's 2 meters. Kind of cool, huh? So you have that option. You can do this and kind of go and start moving your decimal point if that makes sense to you. If that's not making sense to you and the conversion calculator makes sense to you, go use that. It's about whatever works best for you. But I wanted you to see both options, okay? That's where I'm going to end the lesson today. I'll do a few extra examples in the next video in case you want to see some more.